okay now i'm under the vehicle right now um it's on a service ramp uh remember it had a fault code in uh, obd2 mode um it had a port code for engine oil quality sensor and signal being um, out of range or out of spec. Now, this down here, this is where, right at the bottom of the engine, uh, this is where the that sensor lives. This is a sensor. That one. It's a sensor. There is a sensor assembly there. Um, this assembly does three things it has three sensors one for oil level so you don't get a dipstick on this engine the other is for oil quality telling you how old the uh, oil is or if it needs changing and the other is oil temperature this unit does all that it processes it so it's kind of like um, uh, it it's a unit of its own it takes power it needs ground and then it sends a signal on one wire uh, a duty cycle looks like a duty cycle signal um to back to the engine computer um and that signal will contain oil quality temperature and level data continuously it reports back to the engine control module so this is a unit and i'm going to i don't know how well you can see you see that thing with the nut there that one and i'm going to unplug it i've unplugged it now um let me look at the pins i hope you can see it has uh, three pins Yes, that's what I, I saw in the wiring diagram. Uh, one wire should have 12 volts uh, battery voltage with a key on. Um, the other should have ground and the other should carry signal. I brought a multimeter with me down here. I didn't carry uh, an oscilloscope, but I can still use the multimeter because my multimeter can, can show me a frequency here this setting yeah so i can use that to tell if there is a signal at all from the computer if there is a signal from the computer uh and i have 12 volts on the on one wire and ground on the other so that means uh it's the sensor which which is the issue or the oil uh quality in the engine is the issue um as long as I can see a signal on the signal wire, that means the computer is good, the wiring is all good. It's either the sensor or the oil quality. Now I'll go back into the vehicle with the scan tool and determine uh, whether it is the oil quality or, um, or the sensor based on, 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 the, on the data, if I am able to pull up. If I'm able to read uh, data related to uh, data in the computer in the engine control module, if I'm able to read data related to oil quality, so let me turn the key on in the ignition. Actually, I need to. Oh, what the hell! I can do all this in one go. So key is now on engine not running i don't think i need to run the engine for this i'm going to put you guys on the tripod and get you fixed on the multimeter you have to take my word for where I will be positioning. I've already grounded the one, the black lead, the ground lead for, uh, for the multimeter. Here. Uh, 
trying to get you guys focused. Okay, there, let's see. Hmm. This is the, uh, becoming a tricky shot right here. Very tricky, uh, trickier than I thought. This is where I need to... Anyway, the shot has become so tricky, so what I'm going to do is I'll bring the multimeter to where you can see it. Once I'm pinned on to whichever pin. Okay, let's begin with... the pin on the left okay I see it's in resistance so I see that playing around that seems to me like a signal let me change it to uh, frequency yeah you see it's reporting 1.206 kilohertz um, that's 1200 six or they about uh kilohertz i don't know how well you can see that i hope you can see it there on the screen i'm going to the middle wire now that should either be battery voltage or ground i see zero frequency on it okay if I switch the multimeter to voltage, it shows very near uh, zero voltage. I'm switching it to resistance and I'm seeing 7.6 ohms. Hope you can see it there. Very tricky shot this is. So that means that is the ground and it's good. So now I should get a battery voltage on the last wire. Okay, I'm pinned in. And let me move this to voltage. And yes, we have system voltage. Battery voltage is a bit low, but you can see it's 11.2 ohms. So I'm happy with that. I'll plug that back in and now go into the vehicle and uh, pull up uh, data related to this sensor and see what's up with that. Okay, uh, engine is not running but the key is in the on position as you can see and I'm looking at data. Uh, the only data I could find related to to that sensor down there is the engine oil that is in the engine I'm now in the engine control module and for engine oil temperature is showing a blank here and uh, throttle opening showing also blank uh, the TPS is reading quite low values. Remember, I had issues with that before, where it wouldn't, uh, it didn't want to. Uh, the engine wouldn't want to race above 1,800 ish, and then when it warmed up, it worked properly. And then the pedal voltage travel, pedal travel sensor, it has two potentiometers, both are showing zero, and when I actuate the gas pedal there is almost nothing happening on both the TPS and the APP accelerator pedal position sensor so that is funny stuff I'll now back out I'll now back out and try to go to the instrument cluster
and go to the instrument cluster I had to turn the AC off because it's running the battery down um, in the instrument cluster the data for oil pressure is saying okay now I wonder if I can find oil level Well, I can't find anything else related to oil. Hmm, what are we looking at here? Because in the instrument cluster, oil pressure says it's fine, meaning the sensor it's getting data from that sensor but for in the engine control module the data for uh, what was it was it oil level it was saying blank no it was oil, uh, oil temperature it had a blank number there oh and I think that's why the In OBD2 mode, let me go back to OBD2 mode. I think that's why in OBD2 mode, the it threw that code for um, oil quality sensor. I'm loading the OBD2 software up. To have a look at that code again I may clear the code this time to see if it comes back right away read double code okay now we have a code for total valve adaptation remember before all we had was that now all we we have additional this but that could have been us unplugging that sensor just minutes ago this uh related to the throttle valve adaptation blah 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 that that is new i'm going to clear the code because i already have them um, um i have them recorded so let me read see what codes come back it says there are no trouble codes now i want to read I doubt I will get uh, data related to oil quality in OBD2 mode, but at least I can read absolute throttle position. Mm -hmm. And that's about it for the rest I will need to go back into BMW uh, OEM software so let me try to read actuate the throttle here actuate the APP I don't see any changes but that could be because the engine is not running and I have a low battery I have to charge up for this thing to crank up um, I think I'll continue with this test after charging the battery
Okay, that is for when the motor is working properly, so I'm going to wait for it to cool a bit because it seems the problem comes back whenever the engine is cold mm. and then I will uh, uh, I'll try to do this test again because that's when this thing doesn't like to accelerate. So I've been able to duplicate the problem. I'm going to uh, step on the accelerator pedal again and then we shall see what happens to the accelerator pedal position sensor. I've just woken the uh, oscilloscope back up so uh, let's see what happens. As you can see, I put the foot on the accelerator pedal all the way down. Um, the throttle motor, of course, is not moving at all. However, the reason why the RPMs go up a bit, up to about 1,800, is because um, the uh, engine control module um, increases the fuel uh, injector pulse width. In other words, from the APP, it discharges more fuel into the engine, but there is no corresponding increase in the amount of air going in, so the RPMs don't go very high. I'm going to do it again, uh, again, and then since the vehicle has been running for two minutes now, it may have warmed up. The problem may actually clear again on camera. sure you all had that um, I think it has set a port code I'm going to turn the key off in the ignition switch off for a few minutes and then um, repeat the test again if this time uh, the throttle motor moves then it means uh, it's open when cold computer went to sleep here so I'm going to turn the king the ignition switch on again and then crank it again and see what happens That is uh, kind of funny. It seems to be holding. Uh, it seems to be open and holding in one position, uh, like it. Yeah, actually, it seems only one channel is working. Yes, both channels are working. 
Um, I don't know why it held the throttle wide open. That's unusual. I don't know what strategy that was, but you can see uh, it checked the throttle motor um, on switch off. I think it checks it when you switch off the engine. So hopefully next time when we run the engine again, um, it will begin moving it uh, according to the commands. Uh, but that was uh, quite funny that it held it, it opened it and held it open. Yeah, there is funny stuff going on. I think when it has uh, a port code, uh, I think it now has a port code in memory for that throttle motor, and it's now holding the motor open. Um, that's unusual, but I, I'm sure it's some kind of strategy. sure you can hear it clicking uh, open close open close remember uh, last time I told you uh, in, in the first video I told you I kept hearing the thing uh, going off uh, clicking open and close I think uh, that's what uh, was going on yeah That was me playing with the ignition switch on and off. Um, it's off now. I'm going to try to crank the engine, run it. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't give us a good waveform like we saw earlier, then it means I'll have to use a scan tool to clear the code and then see if uh, normal functionality returns.
Okay, I'm going to connect this fan to. Then uh, clear the cords. Then see what happens. Let me try OBD2. You hear that thing going off? It's back to old habits. And I think the computer, as long as the key is in the on position, it keeps checking. current TPS sensor high okay whatever I just want to clear all the codes out clear double code yes uh, do you have any double code now no so let's go back to oscilloscope Try to run this engine. Yeah. And then I'm going to rev the engine once again. issues with the with this motor when it's cold it doesn't wanna work um, yeah and we've caught it uh, fortunately for us so this is going to be the end of this series of videos um, this customer is going to need a new a new fuel pump to get rid of the fuel level sensor cord is going to get uh, to need the new rotor motor to get rid of uh, um, the acceleration issues the rotor motor issues um, is going to need oh we haven't completed um, Derek is ill today uh, so he didn't uh, I wanted him to help me uh, chase the wires under the dashboard to find uh, where the open is because I'm too busy. I may not get time to chase the wires down under the dashboard. It needs to be ripped up uh, open to find out where that open is happening. Um, yes, we found the, the there is a plastic cog in the transfer case. We found it chewed up in two places. Uh, we've located the replacement. Uh, it's due to arrive. The customer will bring that to us, uh, that to us in the next few days, and we we'll fix the transfer test issues as well. Yeah, uh, this will be the end of this series. Um, we've discovered what we've discovered. At least we found where the faults are. Uh, what is left is to fix them. Really, uh, we've, we've uh, come to the end of the diagnostics. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh, this is the first time we did a three-part series and I'm glad I was able to show you some interesting stuff.